Welcome at the booth of Costel here from the Intersolar in Munich. Next to me is Thomas Vogel, he's the head of product management and we are going to talk about the history and the future because Costel is a brand with tradition and maybe you can tell us something about the origin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Costel was founded in 1912 by Leopold Costel in Lüdenscheid and it all began with turn part for the electric industry in the processing plant for technical insulation. Kurt Kostal in the second generation led the company into the automobile sector, thus laid the foundation for the today's main business of automobile as automobile supplier. The third generation, Kurt Kostal, transformed the company to an international enterprise and with 40 locations in 20 countries. Kostal Industry Electric and the business unit Photovoltaic, when and how was it founded? Costal Industry Electric was founded in 1994 with the aim to bring high quality products with automotive standard into industrial products. Costal Industry Electric has now more than 20 years experience in, in the area of uh, photovoltaics and serves a wide area of network for wholesalers and installers in Europe with high quality products, photovoltaic inverters, battery inverters and hybrid inverters. Who is currently leading the Costal Group and which issue is driving you right now? Yeah, Andreas Costal is now leading the company from tradition to modernity. Mm -hmm. With a concentration on empathy and energy, the circle is closed again to the Costal Industry Electric with the claim Costalize Your Energy. Our customers can look for forward for interesting products in the field of photovoltaic and charging business. Costal has now over 2 million onboard chargers in the field and so we can combine charging technology and wall boxes. Do you have an example of a topic where you put innovation or transfer innovation into a serious product? Yeah, for example, in the BDL research project, Costal is working as a partner. The core of the project is to make electromobility more comfortable, price sensitive, lesser em emissions and to integrate e-vehicles more easy into the grid. We talk about tradition, we stand in front of this historic vehicle and on the other hand side we talk about e-mobility. So in this case BDL, bi-directional recharge or charging, what does it mean? Yeah, Costal is in the project um, to produce and to develop um, the DC wall boxes and bi-directional charging means the charging in both directions. So when the car is attached to a wall box, um, the car can consume energy and it can feed back the energy into the grid. Thus makes it to a mobile energy storage device. To bring more electric vehicles into the electricity grid, there's a lot to be done. So legal requirements and the interfaces to energy stakeholders must be clarified. And there need to be innovations in the field of charging technology, charging management and vehicle technology. So all this is in the framework of the BDR research project. This is outstanding. So in which research areas and which working groups is this project divided? Yeah, in the groom, home to the vehicle, there are things like own power consumption, like um, peak shaving and like tariff based charging and discharging. The group vehicle, vehicle to business deals with um, fleet management and peak shaving. And the group um, vehicle to grid deals with energy trading and with grid services. Besides Costal, who is involved in this project? Yeah, besides Costal, with the um, development of the charging technology, um, the consortium leader, the BMW group, the transmission grid provider, Tenet, the distribution grid provider, Bayernwerk, the Forschungsstelle für Energiewirtschaft, the Forschungsgesellschaft für Energiewirtschaft, the Karlsruhe Institute for Technology and the University of Passau are involved. So we can see there are a lot of institutions, a lot of partners involved to make it happen. What is the time frame of the project? Are there any sponsors and what is the goal? Yes, yeah, the BDR research project is running for three years and is funded by the Federal Minister of Economic Affairs and Climate Protection organized by the German Aerospace Center. So the goal of the project is on the one end 
to uh, use as much as regenerative energy as possible and to stable the electricity grid. For this, we need to combine electric vehicle, charging technology and the electricity grid. In the field test, together with 50 coastal wall boxes, it's just running since July 2021 and should be finished till October 20 this year. So all the fundings, the general findings and solutions will go in new attractive cost of products as usual. Very impressive. So I hope in the future we will drive with BDL cars. And if you won't miss any innovation, then please subscribe to the YouTube channel and let us know. How do you find BDL? Do you think it's something for the future or not? Let us know in the comments.